Hi there, Tracy Noriega, paying it forward to you on this Mindful Monday. How you doing? So, um, it's November. Wow, that's, it's crazy. I, I just think it's totally crazy. It's already a lot, uh, November. But uh, um, <laughs> November uh, here in the States is uh, the month for Thanksgiving, which is one of my favorite holidays. And um, I really do love the fact of just coming together as a family, uh, and that could be friends and um, you know orphans and such, or just a family of friends <laughs> to come again uh, together and just really celebrate life and everything that we have to be grateful for. So um, I have talked about coming back to gratitude on many times uh, here on Mindful Monday. And this month on my personal Facebook, which I've been very much avoiding uh, doing anything on, I am just going back to gratitude. I am going back to gratitude and I am doing an unofficially announced 30 days of gratitude in different areas of life. And that's what I wanted to share here is about being mindful of, in one particular area, of taking people, things, and situations for granted. Um, I just spent some time with my former mother-in-law who's uh, living in a community of, you know, uh, active adults. <laughs> and, um, you know, um, her husband has the beginning stages of Alzheimer's. And, um, you know, we were just talking about health in general how we take it for granted the things that we're capable of doing right now she has a shoulder injury so not being able to play golf but then you know having a fall and somebody else is in a skilled care facility and all these things you know it's just we're not really mindful of that which we take for granted every day and people being there that we think are just gonna be there and you know I'll give them a call later I'll let them know that, um, you know, I'm sorry I haven't talked to them. And then you start feeling guilty because you, you didn't get around to it. Um, and I don't mean to sound, you know, like it's doom and gloom, but sometimes something can happen. That person's no longer here anymore. And we didn't get that chance to say thank you um, for whatever it was that they did for us or just to have some time with them um, and so I just want to you know point that out like I said I've been talking about that of all different aspects whether it's your body and really taking care of it and being thankful for it I know you may be going through an illness an injury or a disease and you may not be feeling so grateful to your body at this moment but there are all the other parts of your body that are working and showing gratitude um, goes a long way. Um, I know that's difficult. I've been there too and I've had family members, you know, going through it as well. So it's not that it's easy, but at the same time, it takes just a little bit to say thank you uh, and showing appreciation to yourself. You know, I'm going to my job right now. I know sometimes we get down on uh, whatever we're doing but I also am very grateful for the people I work with um, and the fact that I can serve uh, people who are in uh, need of you know coming into the hospital to get a procedure or something done that may be very f scary and, 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 and anxiety ridden to them and that I can just be there to help them through it um, bring a little bit of levity light and love and um, get them through that. So, you know, where, where in your job can you help people? It may not be the general public, but even um, sh helping your, you know, your co-workers out, those that you work with. And, um, you know, you can also, <laughs> in your community, you know, your neighbors and um, your family, how can you help there and be of service, you know? Um, again, we forget to really look at and, t and take for granted that those people are there. Um, you know, there's so many opportunities. So if you're feeling down about yourself, one of the best things, not only gratitude, and if you're having a hard time with that, is just being of service 
there's always someone else who would wish for your problems and um, I don't mean to make that light of yours but to know that there are people who would honestly <laughs> trade places with you in a heartbeat so go and be of service it feels really good to help another person and um, sometimes that's just a smile and a hello uh, pick up the phone and call them all right um, just say I was thinking about you and uh, send them even uh, a, a text okay anyway I gotta get into work and I uh, just want to share that with you and um, yeah see if you can give thanks for something every day that you overlook uh, and take for granted this uh, November of Thanksgiving all right cheers you guys you take care share this video with anyone you think that could benefit from it subscribe um, pay it forward and I will see you next week cheers